How might we deliver the product? The product? So let's say, let's choose a product. Let's say that your product is a... Physical. You want to go physical? Or online. We can... So if it's physical... It's different. It will depend on what you're offering. If, For example, let's say that you sell a t-shirt. As soon as that t-shirt is sold, you're going to have to now communicate automatically with the people that print the t-shirt so that they will say, they'll print it. You have to give them the information of the customer automatically to them. And then they say, oh, we got it and we got the money. And now they print, okay? And they send the t-shirt. Let's just split it. Let's go physical and let's go digital. For, for sake of of ease. So physical and digital. Now, before we deliver on any of these things, the first thing is going to have to happen. We're going to have to mark them as a purchaser. So how might we mark them in our CRM to clearly show that they are Someone that just purchased. Huh? How might we, how might we uh, determine that they are someone that just purchased? What action do we need to take right after they purchase that identifies them as a buyer? A tag. There you go. So you need a tag. So you always want to have a tag because this way, if you're running marketing, especially if it's automated marketing, you don't want someone that just purchased your digital or physical product to continue to receive emails to go buy the thing that they just bought. Mm. You don't want the, you don't want to buy something and then continue to say go buy the thing that that you just bought. That, you don't want That's that. Really good to know. So you want to have tags to be able to build automation so that when they receive the tag they are removed from the automation from the sequence. Oh. Cuz the last thing that's the biggest way to hurt your customer is you just sold them and now they see you don't have your crap together and you're still continuing to sell them. They feel like, does this guy know I just bought? This Ooh, guy even... Did you ever go, went through that? Have I, I have been through that before. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and there wasn't a lot of people. So it was kind of like, you know, I just bought this. Like, I, I'm good. Like, but oh. that's the tag side of things. But what else, before we even get to deliverables... What is the next thing that we want to introduce them to? What is the next thing? And we haven't covered this yet. But ultimately, who are going to be your best customers? Who's going to buy from you the most? The one that already bought. Ah, the one that already bought. Exactly. So we need to have an upsell. We need to have an upsell. So this goes back to landing page. You can create a page. And in our CRM that we use, it allows us to, once they purchase, it saves their credit card information. And then on the next page, it asks them if they want to purchase this upsell. And if they say, yes, I do, they don't have to re-enter their credit card information again. It automatically will charge their credit card and they just go to the thank you page. So upsell, upsell, physical, digital, we have tags and we have upsells. That's the first thing you want to make sure you have. Okay. So ideally you want to have, even before the deliverable, you have an email confirmation. You send them an email confirmation. That's pretty standard. So with this tag, you probably want to put them into a sequence. 
from the tag, you want to put them into a sequence. The thing that says, thank you so much for buying from me. Hey, I want to make sure you get the most out of my product. Make sure that you do X, Y, and Z. So I know that you are on the right track after buying. So I know you have everything you need. And this is a great a great, uh, easy way to go directly from buying to sequence. So the tag allows you to do that. Now, now we have delivering. Now we got to deliver on what they just purchased from us. We actually have to give them what they bought. So how, how might we do that with physical? Well, guess what? The tag gets them in the sequence. And what can we do from a sequence? We didn't talk about this much. From a sequence, this is what we can do. We can automate. We can automate. These are the things that we can automate in a sequence. We can automate emails. We can automate um text really any form of of com Mar communication marketing yep we can also we can do we can actually send um what we call web hooks what is that? So webhooks are something that allow you to connect with another application. So one webhook has, or one side has a number and the other side has a number. So this could be your CRM. And then this could be, if we're going physical, this could be Printify. Now, the way that we run with this CRM that we use, which is high level, we usually don't, if we're doing anything digital, we can deliver courses on high level. We can deliver um, calls, scheduling. We can give people membership groups. And we can do that digitally. So, so we could do, again, courses, we could do memberships, communities. The, the CRM that we use allows us to do those things. So we don't have to use webhooks to communicate with another app. We can just keep it all inside of our CRM and just add a tag, get them in the sequence, and then unlock the course inside automatically. However, if we're doing a deliverable that's going to require another application, so not inside of our CRM. In webhooks is Printify as well? Yes. So webhooks is the means that allows you to connect between our CRM and other applications. And sometimes this is print. It could be direct to the app. It could also be to an app called Zapier. And Zapier allows you to do connections with multiple apps very easily. But basically, if we are, if we are doing something physical, we'd want to say, as soon as they purchased physical, they get the tag, they get in the sequence. What happens in the sequence? We send the order via webhook over to Printify. So we send an order via automation, automatically sends the order after they purchase to Printify. And then Printify, it automatically, let me draw a little t-shirt. It automatically sends the t-shirt to the house of the person for you. You don't have to do anything. Wow. And this could be Printify. It could also be 
any other any, distributor. Any service of any kind that allows webhooks and API keys. So this, another word for this is API, which you could find. And it allows you to connect with any application any application. So what is another example? Shopify. You could connect Shopify. You could connect Printify to automatically print and, and send. If you wanted to take it an, a, another step further, you could have it to where when they buy from you something digital, you take the customer information in a sequence and you send it to an application that's not Printify. You send it to an application that is called coupon and it automatically generates a coupon for them and then sends them an email that says, go get your t-shirt and then they get a discount on a t-shirt. That's pretty advanced, but you don't, you don't have to um, do that in most cases. So, so again, you go from disc, you go from CRM to distributor. How do you do it? How Again, how do you go from CRM to distributor? How does the CRM know to send the customer's order to the distributor? Because of the tags? Yep, because the tag happened. Not just the tag, but that the sequence fired. That the sequence actually took place. So right now, what I'm most curious about is sequences. And uh, like maybe next time you make another video specifically about sequences. Yeah, right. And emails, like how to send them, how to create the automations. Yeah. And how how every email will be like for certain automation. For example, one email to say thank you. Does that has to do with like sequences? Yes, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I need that connection in between the emails and the sequences for a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you that would like to learn with me one-on-one -on -one to grow your creator business, I would encourage you guys to click that second link in the description to take a look at how you can work with me. It's not a subscription or anything like that. It's just a one-time payment and you get to work with me as soon as tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And it's that second link in the description. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.